Welcome back, this is RB. If you liked this video at any point, hit the like button. It's the only way we'll grow. And follow me on another platform because I can get kicked off this one any day now. Let's get it. No, you look beautiful. Yeah. Where are you going? I think we're going to go to Tim Lizzie's. Okay, she's dressed up like a prosty, about to hit a bar or club. Hey, she's young and having fun. Should I knock her? I think so. I think it's a modern myth that women pass around to each other that, you know, between 18 and 25, that's the time to go be a sleuth, a harlot, that nasty thing in the red dress. A lot of women's whole identity is dressing up like a prosty and being a showstopper at the club. It doesn't add up to much though. I mean, your face will receive a lot of moisturizer, but other than that, I mean, is it really gonna get you anywhere in life? What type of attention do you think this type of outfit is gonna attract? A good hardworking man looking for a family? I don't think so. It's gonna attract a guy named Brad that's going to tell you what you want to hear so he can get a release for the night. And then he ain't going to call you back in the morning. But then you're going to wake up in the morning crying like, why does this always happen to me? That's the energy you put out there. Dress like a prosty, get treated like a prosty. I'm not saying she's a bad person. She may not be, but she needs some guidance. I see she's talking to her mom. Where her dad at? Her mom is congratulating her on the outfit, or I don't know if we got to that part, but she's going to congratulate her on her outfit. What type of conversation do you think her dad would have with her if he was sitting in the same room? And there's another thing that many people don't mention. Think about the danger that's potentially out there walking around at night and something like that. Do women like this consider that? Now, granted, the guys who would do something to her are terrible people and they deserve to burn an H-E double. But you also have to be conscious of the type of energy and attention you attract. Decent people try to stray away from things that are going to attract bad people. Usually when something bad happened to you in life, there's something you could have did differently to have prevented that bad thing from happening. By the time a young woman is going out in this at night, she's too far gone. By the time she comfortable going out in this at night, yeah, she way too far gone. You know, she ain't put on that dress for the nice guys. She put that dress on for the bad boys who going to F her right. That's the type of attention she looking for. She ain't wearing that dress to catch a husband. She wearing that dress to catch a hard D. What's sad is this could have been a future wholesome mother to multiple children. But instead, she'll just be another mentally and emotionally damaged woman, bitter and hateful past the wall. Tomorrow's Julie Piano, so Julie Piano will be a lot of fun. Hi, baby girl. Your baby's going to love you. You're sneezing my face. Let me see the back, not too short. No, beautiful. I love that dress. Isn't it beautiful? Very pretty. Just got it. Did you get Sheen. that from Sheen? I did. And the shoes? I got these from Soul Queen. Nice. She looks cheap. Like, seriously, I get it. Women want to show off their ex appeal. But I mean, at least wear something that's kind of somewhat classy. Like, you have some self worth. I mean, my point is a guy's going to think it's not going to take much effort to take this one on. She might have a guy come up and just ask how much. Well, be careful as usual, honey. And boys suck, remember. And, and guess what, mom? She put on that dress to get the boys that you would say suck. And in a week, she's going to be complaining about one of the guys she screwed this night. Talking about, I can't believe he did that to me. And you're going to be like, I told you boys suck. You should have avoided the bad ones. No, she went out for the bad ones. She think that dress could change the heart of a bad boy. <laughs> it can't. It's just going to make them be more of a wolf. Remember, you're dealing with a group of women that worship the men that are part of the problem in a culture. I mean, hood dudes. There is thugs. Like, there's entertainers. Thugs. That's very true. Yeah, no, and, and it largely goes for thugs and entertainers. Yeah. And nobody was checking for Will Smith before he was Will Smith. Nobody was checking for Jordan Peele before he was Jordan Peele. Okay. These dudes are lames. These dudes are weirdos until they get successful, right? But a guy like Future can have eight baby mothers and still get seven women pregnant or ten baby mothers, like you said. And after the first one, nine women will still lay down with him knowing that he is not sexually responsible. That means that there are nine sexually irresponsible women, one sexually irresponsible man. That is the problem. Hey, this is why back in the day the fathers picked. <laughs> if you let the women pick, they're going to choose the worst guys every time. Most women will. Enough to F up the society, I'll say that. Hey, I'm just saying, you don't got to agree with it, but there was a reason for it. It wasn't because they were mean, mean, mean men. 
And everybody will point out the man and saying that he is a part of that problem, which he is, but that's only one man and nine women. So why are we not talking about the nine women that are also a part of that problem? He's a repeat offender, okay? He's a repetitive offender. So therefore, I feel like he is more irresponsible than these nine women that you are claiming to be irresponsible. Right, women should never be held responsible for their actions. A man always did it. Or if she did do something wrong, yeah, but the guy did something that was 10 times more wrong in the process. So hey, we don't need to be talking about me right now. <laughs>